I have a three-year-old Great Dane named Stella. Um, she's the most spoiled child in our family. Uh, pro plan fed, very proud of that. It's made right here in Clinton, Iowa. Yeah, she has a beautiful coat and a crazy attitude. <laughs> so I have a 12-year-old Yorkie named Muffin, and she loves the peanut butter pig. My name is Candace Clays. I am the Dry Pet Production Manager here at the Clinton, Iowa facility. So as the Dry Pet Production Manager, I'm responsible for the production of our product. Obviously, we produce um, dry cat food, dog food, and treats um, here at our location. So it starts with uh, incoming raw materials. Um, from there, we batch them um, into a specific recipe according to whatever product we're producing. We form the product, we cook the product, and then we package it into different size bags. It goes to the warehouse and out to the customer. I'm Donna Bankson. I'm a logistics manager here at Nestle Purina in Clinton, Iowa. Uh, logistics manager here means uh, I oversee three different departments, um, ops planning department, the buying department, and the warehouse. So I'm Keanu Williams. I work as a production operator in the specialty pet packing department. I do a lot with the uh, treats, such as the T-bones and the Bag and strips a lot. I do a lot of the quality checks to make sure the packaging is correct with the correct date codes. To be honest, uh, they were going to pay me 15 cents more an hour and I wouldn't have to drive to the Quad Cities. Uh, but after getting here, I realized how great of a company it is and things that they will do for their employees. I uh, went back to school with the help of tuition reimbursement that they provide, um, got my BA and became a manager after you know a few steps along the way. I see my mom, love her job. She worked in the warehouse here, she retired from here. So that was the only job that I was used to her going to is working for Prina and she enjoyed it. So I thought, I'm her daughter, I might as well give it a try too. And I'm glad I did, I like what I um, I never really pictured myself working in manufacturing um, in college, I have a food science degree. I actually did a couple of internships at some different factories across the country. Um, once I got into manufacturing, I realized it's not, not at all what um, the stigma is around manufacturing. It's a fast-paced environment. Um, it's really exciting. There's a lot of cutting-edge things going on. So most recently we added Red Zone as a tool for our operators to use. Um, every, I, I oversee the, the warehouse, so every warehouse fork truck operator has an iPad on their truck. Um, the Red Zone tool helps to track efficiencies. Um, it's a big communication tool. We have a lot of advanced technology here. Um, one of the really cool things we recently introduced is a new digital training platform. So it's, um, it's similar to YouTube, we actually have operators creating these uh, mini how-to videos that show you if you're a new employee, you log in, you can see the specific equipment you're working on, and then you can actually watch a video that takes you step, step by step through the different things that you would have to do to interact with that equipment. I'd say jump right in. There's, I specifically didn't have any background in manufacturing before, but I took the or they gave me the opportunity to show that I have what it takes. So even without going to college or anything, it's a good job to have longevity, flexibility, excellent benefits and everything. I would tell them to jump in. Uh, working in manufacturing has been a great career for me. The, the manufacturing environment, it, it, it needs you. It needs your special talents and your abilities. Um, there's a place here for everybody, whether you're a super creative person, whether you're a really analytical person, um, whether you want to help build standards or be on problem solving teams. Um, there's, there's definitely a place for all of those skills. And without all of those different skills and all of those different um, abilities, we wouldn't be as successful as we are today here. I do. I would say the <clears throat> work-life balance piece is great uh, for from my perspective. Have a pretty flexible schedule. Um, I come in early. I stay late different days. I come in at nighttime if needed. Um, I'm actually the assistant uh, tennis coach at the high school in, here in Clinton. Uh, so it's very fortunate that I am able to attend those practices, go to those go to those tennis meets, um, and work my schedule here here around that. I've got three little boys, uh, all under the age of 10, so they keep me pretty busy out of here. Um, thankfully, you know, working here, we've got a lot of uh, flexibility. Work-life balance is really important to Purina. 
Um, so I, I get to spend time mostly focused on them and their activities, but there's nothing else I'd rather be doing right now. Um, you won't regret it. There's a lot of different career opportunities you can go to in here, production operator, management, anything. Like they said, you can go back to school or...